Hello everyone, welcome back to Factorio. Now today, all right, let's 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 kind of start this off here right. <laughs> so I've done a little and a lot in between the last episode and this episode. I got some biter bases gone, um, and then I noticed that I was having a lot of issues when it came to uh, copper and everything. So I just very quickly tapped into this uh, this copper mine right here now. I had a bit of an issue with the with some biters and spitters, so I had to. Uh, I'm still gonna have to rebuild that up a little bit, but I at least have a decent amount of um, of uh, copper ore coming in here now to filter into all of this and fill this up and and make the stuff that I need to be made. Um, now I've done a little bit of expanding as well. So I kind of, I took a wall out this way, um, and put some turrets in down here because we're really going to have to get into this copper later on, uh, to get it into this area with a train. Um, but today what I want to focus on is oil. Oil is going to be essential to what we're going to have to do, um, in order to progress through this game. And we are to the point to where I can't do anything else until we do oil. Um, because we need plastics, we need red circuits, um, we just need a bunch of stuff that now has to do with oil. <laughs> so, what I've done is I went ahead and got a T-section put in down here, uh, for our rail. And then I have the rail coming all the way up to here to our crude oil spot. It's actually going to be a decent amount of oil for us to use. But we're also going to have to get rid of that biter base as well. <laughs> um... Probably not going to do that on camera. I'll probably do a, uh, a cut in the video when we're to that point. Um, but for right now, I want to go ahead and get our oil set up, taken care of here in the base. And then we're working on getting the oil into the base. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right, so I have to actually... Um, do the oil refineries by hand, and it takes a decent amount of stuff to do that. Uh, let's see, so I need pipes, I need... Uh, oh, I actually have enough. Okay, so let's just do two for now. <laughs> Those are going to take a minute. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what my production is. But I, I honestly don't remember. Um, I have a blueprint for oil. And let's see. I need it to be... Let's see. There's... Uh, da, 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 late game. Is it in late game? I have an oil cracking um, blueprint in here somewhere. Let's see. Advanced oil. Come on. I've got it in here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it's at. That might be it. Yeah, perfect oil cracking. Here we go. This is this is what I want. Um, so this will basically in once I get oil cracking unlocked, this is what will be needed for it. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five. I have ten. Yeah, it's ten oil refineries, three chemical plants. Um, well, it's 21 chemical plants total. So three chemical plants will convert heavy oil to light oil. And then 18, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, 18 chemical plants will convert light oil into petroleum. Um, this is what I use all the time when it comes to trying to process oil. Um, it's It actually, believe it or not, it does work very, very well. So... Um, I will make sure that, uh, I, I get my blueprints all together and that you guys can, uh, can use them as well. Uh, someone had asked me if I had a spot for them. I don't currently, but I'm working on getting a Google drive together for the blueprints, uh, to make sure that you guys have access to it. Um, now with this, be with that being said with this, this oil does need to be near water because eventually when we do the cracking, we're going to need water to go with it. Um, so looking at my map and looking at everything that's in here, I'm going to leave myself a little open here because, you know, I don't have a whole lot of protection through this way, but eventually that will change. Eventually, um, this wall, I want to come all the way up and connect to this one. So we'll have turrets going all the way around there. 
so we can have our base uh, completely in here. But I do want um, the oil cracking to be down on this side. And I don't think I need to smelt anything else. We have iron, we have copper, we have stone, and we have steel. So I shouldn't have to smelt anything else. And then this should give us a chance to, we'll put our oil processing in here, um, probably in this area here. And then once this completely empties out, then we'll have an area over here to put uh, our nuclear stuff. Hopefully. I mean, that's that's my hope. We'll just <laughs> kind of have to, we'll have to play it by ear and see what happens. Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead and place this down here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to use all of this at once. Um, I'm going to use, I'm only using a couple of these for right now. So let's get that in here. And then the the other reason why I'm bringing this down so far is I'm going to have to have an area for the, uh, for the oil to come in. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we have the oil come in here. It gets dropped off in, in this area. And then it can exit, it can actually exit, it can connect to this. I think that'll be best. I think it can connect to this and then exit out that way. I've really been trying to think of, you know, the best way <laughs> for me to get this stuff in and out of here. But, um, you know, it's... I don't know. It, 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 there's just so much going on with this game. It, it's just it's just crazy. <laughs> it really is. Um, but like I said, I think starting it out here will be fine. Uh, I do think that I need to start looking at some other things too, though. I don't think that I've got... Um, I don't think I have any pipes or anything like that being done automatically. I'm also going to make sure that I have my uh, my bus set up for you guys, too. I'll do a blueprint of all that kind of stuff and make sure that that's in there. Um, there's just a lot to do with blueprints. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot to do with them. Oh, I do have I do have pipes over here. Yay, I did do it. Good. I'm getting um, I'll be honest, I'm getting my uh, my stuff with, let's actually, let's do this. Let's do, this one needs to be, we'll do this with all of our um, pipes and everything. I'm getting this game and my uh, my game that I'm doing by myself um, <laughs> a little mixed up here. Uh, let's say pump jack, and then we'll go with um, pumps as well. And then we'll do storage tanks. We'll do... Um, what else? What else do I want? What else do I need? I'm totally drawing a blank. This is, this is kind of what happens when you start to record episodes back to back. <laughs> I just got done doing two episodes for, uh, for Sim Airport and now I'm doing this. Um, Oh, right, right, right. I want that. And then I also want the chemical plant. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's that should be all that I need. Um, let's actually, let's go down a little bit further here. And I should be able to add some of this stuff onto here. So this needs uh, steel gears. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Um, can I just get rid of these two? I don't think I need them here anymore. No. And I don't need these here anymore either. Perfect. Do I need pipes for that? I do. I do need pipes. Okay. So I can leave that pipe there. Ooh, this is actually going to work out really well. Good. Uh, give me... <laughs> I need to, go, need to come back down the line here. Now, I know... I know it's probably best to have this stuff, like, a little bit more compact, but... To be honest, I kind of like it being in a single line. I don't know why. I just do. I just, I just really do. Let's see, so let's go with. Okay, so 
gears, and this. So we actually need that, okay. Um, let's switch those and let's go the first one. Okay. Okay. And then this needs to go out. Um, so we'll make, we'll put that there. We'll put that there. And then I really don't need a whole lot of these. Um, pump jacks, I think at the most I'm going to need is 20, which is like one stack. So let's do that. Let's do 20. And that's all I need. Like, that's literally all I need. Because up here, we've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's only 15 there. So at the most right now, I only need 15. So we'll get those made. And then let's turn my turret range off because it's kind of getting annoying. Um, so I'll have some wall to finish. There's there's a lot to do. There's there's honestly a lot to do in this game, and I've already put in 18 hours into this uh, this map already. I know it's a little bit of a of a long stretch and we're already on episode 16 and we're finally doing oil. Typically you can do oil a lot sooner than that. But, you know, I wanted to make sure that we had everything in place of where we needed it to go. Not to mention the fact that, you know, we basically did a biter of episodes or an episode of biters, you know, and getting rid of them. Um, just waiting on this to get done here. My car is... Where? This is, I do this all the time. My car is there. Okay. Um, I'm also going to need to make sure that I beef up on ammo and everything. So while I'm waiting on that to finish, let's go ahead and grab... Grab ammo. Ooh, I'm having an issue with... Okay, so that's why this isn't going nearly as fast anymore. Do I have any on me? No. And that's probably because this is getting low. Oh, yes. Very much so. Okay. All right. So that's that's a bit of a concern. Is running out of iron. <laughs> because, I mean, we've got iron down here. Oh, but expanding to it is going to be a pain in the butt. Why don't we take this and let's limit this to two stacks. Because that's, I mean, I'm not taking any more than that anyway. So we'll just kind of limit the amount of ammo that we're making now. Grab that. And then I'm going to need to make, do I have any locomotive engines on me? I don't think I do. No. Am I making them? Yes. But I'm not making any of the uh, the tankers or anything like that. Plates, steel, and gears. How do I make a tank? Steel and plates. Okay. So I could... could make these. So if I go, that's going to be a thing. That's going to be tanks. One, two, three. So that's going to be the cargo wagon. This is going to end up being the storage tanks. And then this will be the fluid wagons. Okay. Take all of this stuff down this way. All right, you need steel plates and gears. We'll go down there. Take that steel. 
gears, and you actually need to go there. Oops. You just need steel and plates. Of course. What now? Oh no! That's not good. Oh, they're getting awful brave coming all the way up there. Holy crap. That's not good at all. Uh, what does this need? Steel and plates. Alright, so steel and plates, and then this will go into... That'll go into a thing. That'll go into a thing. I'm not going to need many of those. I'm really not. So this is going to go into there, and then that'll go into there. I only need five of these. So if it's less than five, we're good. And then with this, I only need 20. Like, I, I don't need many of these at all either. I mean, until later on, maybe, you know, if we if we really start to expand a lot. But, I mean, maybe if we get, like, into mega base deal, maybe, you know, we'll see. But I, I don't really foresee <laughs> that happening anytime soon. Um, and then this is going to need... Oh, this also needs pipe. Okay. But you're going to need to go here. Okay, so this is going to need... So we need that. We're going to need this. Why is it saying... Oh, because it's a ghost, that's why. Don't mind the dog. Just don't mind the dog. <laughs> Do I, um, am I making these? I am making these. Okay, good. <laughs> like, I should be making these. I actually kind of forgot that I was making them. Uh, let's put that there. Okay, that's getting everything that it needs now. And that's making, let's do in 20. That's doing no more than five. Perfect. Um, so I'm probably going to need... Alright, so we have our fluid wagons and stuff like that set up. Which, of course, we are getting dangerously close to all of this over here. I like this, though. I really, really do like this. Very, very simple. Very, very simple thing. Um, and most of this is, you know, is just what I need. Um... I like it. Okay. I can actually take this idea and expand it to where maybe I have some of this stuff over here on the other side. And then I just put, uh, you know, I just put steel and stone on the other side too. Maybe. Just an idea. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. Um, but I know that I'm going to need uh, pipes and stuff for um, some more stuff later on down the road. But I don't know. We'll, I'll figure that out later. Um, for now, for now, let's focus on getting oil in here and let's focus on, uh, oil production. So I'm going to need some storage tanks because of reasons. Um, I'm going to need storage tanks because I am going to need somewhere for, oh, you know what I can do? Even though we're going to do oil cracking, I still have to get solid fuel onto this bus. Yeah, solid fuel is going to have to come on here, too. Ooh, okay. So that's going to... Ha Ooh, okay, okay. Um, give me... What do I need for a chemical plant? Chemical plants... Okay, perfect. So that can actually go here. What else do I need for a chemical plant? Uh, pipe, circuit, steel. Okay. That and that. And 
and then all of this. Okay. So chemical plants, I'm going to need no more than 20 in a thing. Oops, that can go there. Uh, let me add in... What is being destroyed now? All of this stuff getting destroyed is just, it's just getting on my nerves. <laughs> I think this is probably one of the reasons why I turned biters off a long time ago. And why I haven't dealt with biters in a while. Because of that reason. But, that's alright. Alright, so let's do tw eh, let's do 40. Just because of, you know, the way I have cracking and everything. But I can also turn, I can turn those cracking areas into lubricant and um, solid fuel. Actually, that's, ooh, that's a really good idea. Okay. All right. I have an idea of what I want to do for that, but we'll do that later. <laughs> right now, I just want to get this set up. Um, of course, totally forgot about this. You go into there, okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we'll get the chemical plants going. Um, I don't need them right away. Six, we have five. Okay, I'm good. Got, got plenty of stuff that I need for this. So let's make our way over to that area, and then we'll go ahead and get, uh, we'll get a train station put in. We'll get the rails put in. Um, speaking of rails, I'm probably going to need to grab some before I run out. Let's see. Let me go ahead and grab half of those. And let me grab... All that I can of that. I'm going to need more turrets. Grab half of them. Okay. Off to go get oil. Let me uh, let me get up to my car and then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Okay. So, I have I have gone through and I've I've kind of I've not necessarily eliminated, but I've gotten rid of a lot of the biters and stuff that were over here. Um, it, it, it took a little bit, uh, but I think uh, I think we should be fine for now to go ahead and start getting into this oil. Um, might have to set up a couple of uh, safety nets and stuff like that. You know, definitely going to have to go down and get more ammo and turrets. Um, really just more ammo than anything else because I did lose <laughs> a lot. Um, but that shouldn't uh, shouldn't dissuade us from getting into here. So um, these turrets should be able to take care of any onslaught that's happening over here. The problem with doing this is that these worms, these big worms, are just horrible. They're absolutely horrible, and they're hard to uh, to get rid of. Um, well, it's not that they're hard to get rid of. It's just that they suck, <laughs> and they're... They, they do a lot of damage. Even though I, I finally have armor now, they, they still do a lot of damage. So, um, Let me just go through and get all of these at least placed down, and then we'll figure out how to figure out how to connect all of these up together. Um, let's see if I have these go this way, and try and at least keep it to where I can do a lot of undergrounds with this. Um, so let's see. Let's go... Connecting that. Connect that. This can actually go this way. Ooh, perfect. And that's incorrect. That can connect up here. Nope. Alright, so we'll do that. It's a bit of a waste. Um, I think, actually, if I think I get everything pretty much pointed toward the middle, we should be okay. I want to do as little above ground stuff as I possibly can here. Um, 
We actually have that connect there, and then we'll have this connect like that. That'll connect there. That'll go like that. This will go like this. All right, so all of that is connected, and then this is the last one that needs to be connected. What if I have this come out to... Just come out to there. Like that. Okay, that'll work. And then all of these will get pumped to storage tanks. Um, let's see. What if we go this way? What if we go like this? And we'll put our storage tanks here. Um, hang on, let's do that, do that, because I'm thinking about, because I don't, I don't like it to be just into going into like a ton of these tanks. I like to pump it from one tank to the other tank to the other tank. In order for me to do that, I need pumps, which, oh my God, I can make them. <laughs> good, 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 good. I'm glad I can make these. So I want the oil to come into here, pump it to that one, pump it to that one, pump it to that one. Um, and then from here, we'll have it get pumped into these two. So we'll have a pump go into here, and then a pump go into here. Go there, we'll go there. Then we'll get all of these connected up with power. Which of course I don't have any power right now <laughs> over here. Let's see, that one, uh, this one, that one. These are all fairly close together, so I'm not too terribly concerned about it not getting connected to power. And then let's create a little bit of a barrier over here. Uh, let's say do a wall this way. Because these things will start to uh, to produce pollution. The last thing that we need is to have any issues over here with this stuff. Let's go two, two, do another two over here. Okay. So that should kind of help protect that once we get it connected to electricity. Um, I want to get... Ooh, I don't know if we're going to get this connected to electricity. I didn't grab my... I uh... didn't grab my power poles here. I have 11 left. That should be enough, I hope. Let's, we'll see. We'll definitely see if this is going to be enough or not. Oops, I want to stretch this out as far as I possibly can here. Of course, I hate driving and doing this. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'm not good at it at all. See? See what I mean? Plow through the tree. Okay, okay, we're good. I made it. Okay, so as that's pumping oil into there, of course I don't have a radar up there, so we can't see anything. Um, but let's go, let's not go into that area because we're not going to be able to soon. I need to create another opening over here somewhere instead of going around every time. Or trying to drive through the base because that's just impossible to do at this point anymore. Yeah, see, this is this is why I'm I'm having this back up now because there's just no point in all of that to happen. Uh, let's just grab ten. I have twenty gun turrets, so that should be enough. Uh, I am gonna need some more of this though. I 
I have coal on me for the trains. I think two trains should be enough. Oops. This is, this is what I need to, oh my god. Let's just get rid of this stuff. Ooh, I can mine from the car. Good. I didn't, I don't think that was a thing before. I really don't. You can see why I have like 19 hours almost into this, uh, um, into this base, which of course I'm out of coal in here. It just, there's just so much to do. And then, you know, taking time to fight the biters and all of that other fun stuff. So we'll just cut through here. It's no big deal. Um, all right, we'll let that, we'll let that um, accumulate for now. Let me take, uh, let me take a blueprint of this. I think I'll omit the the gates and everything. No. New blueprint and oh, I want it to be about that big. All right, let's not do any of that stuff. Uh, none of the turrets. I don't need any of that. I just need the rail and the signals. And this is going to be, um, in. Well, let's say rail in. A rail. Let's do this. Um, letters I N. And then a rail. Okay. And then I should be able to, which of course I didn't select, <laughs> I didn't select something correctly, but that's all right. I can go in and edit this here in a little bit. Um, I think if I have this come in about here and then can't put blueprints, Player inventory is full. I'm aware of that. Let's do this. Put the pistol over here. And then that can be possibly exported. Okay. Anyway, it, it's at least somewhat in there. But let's get uh, let's get this down. Oops. Okay. Um, so I want I think if it's coming in this way, do I have a mm, not really. Is this even able to go that way? No, it's not. I don't understand why that's like that. It just makes no sense to me. I need to be able to have parking for this, but it's <laughs> it's obviously not going to do what I want. Um, well, I don't necessarily have to have parking per se. Let's just get rid of all this. Uh, no. Pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, so we'll do the unloading. Um, let's see, four, yeah. Did I, yeah, I still have pumps, okay. So we'll go one pump here and one pump here. That'll give me access to the two storage tanks. 
both of those will get pumped into, let's connect them together. Uh, one, two, both of those will get pumped into this one. And then that will just come down here to, uh, to the oil processing because this is, I mean, this is all we really need for now. I don't really feel like I need to have a whole lot. Um, especially if I'm only going to have two, uh, refineries for right now because the processing speed, it's just, it's not that great. So two of these will be fine. Um, but here's our two of those. Make sure that I've got And if this is going to come out, yeah, this is going to come out this way. Which is that, is that going to be the best way for this to exit? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just take it and we'll have it hooked directly into this exit right here. Uh-huh. All right. I like that. I'm okay with that. Is this the neatest? Um, no, it's not. <laughs> but I mean, this right here gives us a, a backlog available of several trains that we can put in here. So I can put something like that one and then another train can then go behind it. Um, one, two, let's see, and then I can go here because that'll give me enough for another train. And then one, two, three. Which I think I can go there with it. One, two, three. And then if I really needed to, one, two, three, go right there. So we can do something like that, which of course I'm going to need to go get myself some more signals. And then I can do another one here, like this. And then let's add... Pull into all of these. You, I want to move forward just a bit. That's being destroyed. Oh, no. Oh, that is not good at all. This, I hate this little area right here. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Anyway, we're going to name this train station. Um, we're going to say oil processing. Okay. And I'm actually going to take the train uh, up to where I want to go because it's going to be a lot faster to do that rather than take a car. Of course, I'm not entirely sure where this is going to go. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of trees anyway. Get rid of these trees with the grenade, because grenades are our friends in this game. <laughs> of course, there's one little twig in the way. Go figure. Okay. So we'll take this train, a little bit of a slow start using coal, but you know, it'll get there. And we'll just take this on up. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> I thought I had hit my, uh, my turn there, but apparently not. Apparently I didn't hit it soon enough. There we go. That's better. Oh, I love trains. Absolutely love trains. Okay. Okay, so I have one, two, I've got three trains here for this. So I could... I could essentially use... Where's my blueprints at? Uh, 
I could use this. To say I put that here. Oh my god, that actually works out perfectly. <laughs> Seriously? Is that gonna... Oh, wait. Is it going to? Is it going to work out perfectly or not? No. It's... Dang it, it's not. But if this were down one, it would, correct? Because I could essentially put... Yeah, it would, because I could put that one there and that one there. Okay, so how do I... How do I get this to go down correctly? So if I take... If I take this and go... I'm going to go one down from that. Let's just get rid of all this. But we do a deconstruct, that'll be a little bit easier. Well, except for on this. I can't do deconstruct on this. You know, I remember when um, they used to have uh, curved rail. You know, it wasn't, uh, you didn't have sh just straight rail. It was uh, straight rail and curved rail. It was, it was very interesting. It was, it, it really, really was. All right, so let's have this go here then. And then we'll take this. Up and around like that. Of course, whenever you put something down ahead of time, it never works out according to plan. It, it just doesn't for some reason. I don't know why. Um, all right, so if I do... This should be... I should be okay here. Or do I want to... Yeah, let's do it there. Okay, so then this will be oil... Pickup... North. Since we're in the north, we'll call that one oil pickup north. Um, <laughs> I don't see any other oil around here right now. <laughs> Oh, this is this is going to be fun. Some of these resources are, are very plentiful. Some of them are not. And of course, this is not going to line up to where I want it to, but. Actually, no, that does pretty well. It does that does pretty darn well. Um, I guess I guess really do I really need that there? Or do I just... No, I don't. You know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind on this. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to do that. Eventually, we'll be able to have robots in here to where we can uh, have them do all this crap for us. This is just... It, it's just a waste of rail. It, it really, really is. Let's just get rid of all this. If I end up needing to make parking for this, I will, but I just don't feel like I need to right now. Let's have that go here. That. So then this train will come into here and then we'll have to go and get some other uh, some other signals and stuff. But the last thing I want to do is have these trains crash. But this will go in here. We'll place that there. Uh, let's add. I don't want to do the color. I want to add a station. I want to do oil pickup north. And we'll do... Uh, cargo full, and then we'll add oil processing 
to cargo empty. And it's filling up. Awesome. Oh, that makes me so happy. And of course, that is going to have pollution in it. Of course. Go figure. It's okay. That's all right. And I know this has no path right now. Um, let's try and give it a path. Of course, this is this is going to get right in the way. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, wait, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. That's good. All right, I got to hop this train. And not kill myself. Because <laughs> I've done that before. I've done that many, many a times before to where I've, I've gotten into a train and, and then killed myself doing it. So that'll stop him here. Um, and that's because I don't have... Oh, actually, I can right click, shift right, and then shift left click on each of these. Turn that to automatic, turn that to automatic. And those will go and get what they need and come back. Maybe. Well, he's not going to be able to go anywhere because we have signals happening and, and everything else. So. Oh, yeah, he's not going to be able. OK, never mind. I know what I'm talking about. I'm just it's in my head. He can't go anywhere right now because this doesn't have a signal blocking this right here. So it shows that there's a train in it. So he can't go anywhere, which I, I'm OK with. But we at least we have oil processing kind of started. <laughs> um, let's do. Can I make? No, of course, I can't make anything. Go figure. All right, let me go get uh, let me go get some stuff here. Okay, so really the last of what we need to do is uh, is to get some more signals in here to where these trains can um, can operate. So we'll need to put a rail signal here to block that off, and then we'll need to put um, put another rail signal in there. Now I'm gonna need to put a couple chain signals over here because I don't want um, I don't want trains to be clashing with each other. So we'll put a chain signal there to there. So whichever train is going to be on its way first, that will happen. That will be allowed to go through. And then same happens with the chain signals of everything coming out. Um, let's take a look at. Let's get rid of that rail signal. We'll add a chain signal to here and then add that rail signal there. We'll do a chain signal going in. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I about died. That happens. It does. It happens. And it happens a lot. Um, actually, that needs to be a rail signal, not a chain signal. Because I don't have really anything going in that's going to stop me from anything else. Do I have... Okay, so that's not going to empty yet because that has no electricity. Totally fine with that. Um, I am going to need to get some rail signals in between here so that trains can pretty much flow easily. That way they're not stopping or and holding up traffic. We'll do one there. And uh, at this point, I'm just kind of guessing. I just I want to make sure that it's it's big enough or long enough for the large trains I'm going to have coming through here eventually at one point. Um, that needs to be a chain signal. Nope, that is completely incorrect. OK. Then we'll do a rail signal. So rail signal going in and then. Oh, my gosh. Putting the signals down sometimes is just <laughs> it's a daunting task. All right. So one, two, three. So put a signal there to separate that. And then one, two, three. We'll put a signal here to separate that. So now we can have all three trains in here without any issues. Um, once it leaves, it can go through there. We'll just add, we'll add a separate one in there just in case one gets stopped. 
Um, we'll do chain signal, chain signal. Uh, chain signal coming in, chain signal going that way. Um, yeah, we'll do a regular rail signal this way. And then we'll have to do chain, 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 chain. Okay. <laughs> I'll shut up. Um, and then we'll go that way. And then this will allow... For more rail signals to come down here. Two, three, four, five. And the reason why I'm spreading these out so much is that eventually we will have trains that are going to have four cars on them. Four, five. And that's just allowing for all of that room to happen. Really. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is this is definitely taken uh, taken a toll on us here. But we have oil. We do. We have struck oil. Yay. Uh, now we just got to make sure we uh, kind of defend ourselves up here uh, with this stuff. Do I have a um, I don't think I have a radar on me and I don't think I have the means of making one either. I do not. Ooh. I do have a flamethrower turret that I can make. <gasps> that is exactly what I should do right now. How much of an area is that going to gift me? I wonder. <laughs> because if I can do a flamethrower turret over here and eliminate some of this stuff, that'll actually make me very, very happy. Where is it? Yeah, I'm going to have to get kind of close. Okay, if I can do... If I can put the flamethrower turret here. While having... Those there to protect it. Ooh. Of course he's not gonna he's not gonna do anything with the pipe. And uh, let's see if I can't get this hooked up to this network here. Okay. This is gonna be oh, this is gonna be very quick. I think I might lose it. Oh, oh, of course, of course. No. Dang it. <laughs> these guys spit far. They do, they spit. They, they're not hitting these right now, but like if I, if I approach, then they will shoot me. Which is ridiculous. Oh my God. Seriously? Buttheads? Okay, now let's, let's get in close enough. Go, go, go. Ah, crap, crap. Fix it, fix it. I don't think it's working. I missed something. Take it up, take it up. <laughs> I didn't, oh, I didn't connect down here. Dang it. Okay, now we should be okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doggone it. That did not work well. <laughs> it did not work out well at all. Um, give me that turret back and let me repair it real quick before I actually set it over there. Um, where is... Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that fixed. I will say that this is... Um, Something that I do miss doing. I miss dealing with a lot of these biters and, and everything. Oh! Dang it! <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, it's definitely distracting him, that's for sure. Totally getting destroyed. <laughs> Gone. Done. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with losing that just to just to really get it going. <laughs> and I love it. Okay, anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. We have oil pretty much ready to go. We just gotta have to uh, get it hooked up. Next episode, we will work on... Um, really, we'll work on uh, plastic manufacturing here uh, very shortly, along with um, getting stuff ready for Blue Science. Um, actually, I think, I think we should be ready for Blue Science. Well, I'm sorry chemical science pack is what we're going to be ready for here in the next episode um and i mean that's that's going to take a little bit of time to set up i think but we have all of the resources and everything that we need to do so so we should be good to go there so thank you for joining me today everyone be on the lookout in the description below for a link to google drive uh, for the blueprints um i will go back and get it into some of the other episodes as well um just to make sure that you know it's down there for you so anyway that is all i have thank you watch for thank you so much for watching everyone and i'll see you next time